in a way the world is waking up to understand that if we want to be well, there is a certain amount of investment we have to do upon this one. So people not being able to cope with this psychologically and emotionally cracking up under the uncertainties of their economic future, uncertainties about their professional life and many of them unable to put bread on the table. The problems are mounting and becoming more severe by the day across the world. Well, this mental pandemic is one thing we do not... mental illness pandemic is one thing that we do not need because this viral pandemic is bad enough. The economic downturn is bad enough and the struggles of people to make a living is painful. When all this is there, we do not need a, a mental illness pandemic. But unfortunately, that is also looming as an imminent possibility. So what is it that one can do? Yesterday I was in conversation with a, a few experts in this mental illness, mm, you know, doctors who are experts in this field. And all of them in one voice saying that it's going up like never before. At the same time, there was a doctor who was sharing that uh, in the southern part of the country where she works, particularly with children and teenagers, she said, this is the first time young people who are in their teens coming up and asking not for a prescription, of medicine, tablets or something, they're asking, what kind of yogic practice can I do so that I don't fall into this? Well, in a way the world is waking up to understand that if we want to be well, there is a certain amount of investment we have to do upon this one. Physical well-being, psychological well-being, emotional well-being, this life being well needs a certain attention, otherwise it's just not going to happen by itself. Well, naturally certain things have come to you, but how naturally are you living? That's a big question. There are many aspects to this. Well, teaching practices, simple practices to boost the immune system, to bring emotional balance and psychological stability. These practices are out there. There is substantial scientific and medical data to show they are one hundred percent legitimate. They are not just claims. Today there are biomarkers which clearly, clearly indicate that Many of the yogic practices that we have been trying to teach people in the last nearly forty years and for ages people have been transmitting these things. It is not a fad, it is not the domain 
of the weird and the freakish who want to stand on their head or twist and turn themselves like leftover noodles, it is a proper science as to how to manage this system, how to maintain chemical balance within you so that your physiological and psychological well-being is taken care of, how to keep an effervescence of energy within the system so that you are not a depleting life all the time. We all will die, but uh, it need not be today <laughs>